In this video, we will find out the truth about the fight between the lion and the rhino. Make sure to subscribe and enable notifications to watch all epic animal fights and learn about the story behind them. If any mammal could be called the flesh and blood embodiment of a tank, it'd be one of the bigger rhinoceroses, and none fulfills the role quite like the biggest of them all, Africa's white rhino. This gargantuan grazer, one of the true titans of Africa, along with bush and forest elephants, and the common hippo, may weigh over two tons, considerably more than its hook-lipped cousin, the black rhino. Apart from humans, the lion is the only significant predator of the African black rhinoceros and white rhinoceros. Rhinoceros of young age are most susceptible to lion predation. However, rhinoceros of various age groups and sizes have been killed by lions, even the fully grown animals. Black rhinoceros have fallen prey to lions on several occasions in the Atosha National Park, Namibia. Three instances of lions successfully attacking sub-adult black rhinoceros were recorded in June, 1995. A post-mortem examination of the three rhinoceros confirmed that they were substantially wounded at the posterior and killed by a bite at the neck, causing strangulation or tracheal rupture. All three rhinoceros were aged between three and four years, and this appears to be the age group most vulnerable to lion predation. At this stage, the rhinoceros is old enough to leave the protection of its mother and live independently, but it remains a relatively small animal. One instance was recorded on the 8th of June 1995 and described in detail. The rhinoceros first appeared at a waterhole and began drinking. Four minutes later, one female and three male lions appeared and also started drinking. Ten minutes later, one male lion advanced towards the rhinoceros, and as the herbivore turned to face the lion, the other two attacked its rear simultaneously. The combined efforts of the lions forced the young rhinoceros to the ground. One lion on its back moved to bite the throat, and the lions managed to roll the rhinoceros onto its back. From there it took the lions 40 minutes to kill the animal. However, these acts of predation only occur in isolated cases. In the Umfalozi Game Reserve, there was no evidence of lion predation on a black rhinoceros after 13 years of observation. It seems pretty normal to expect that a lion would automatically be the predator and take down anything else. A lion is powerful and fast but fully grown rhinos are way too big for a lion to take down. Rhinos are also very fast and very agile. They can turn easily to protect themselves with their horns. A lion will only go for a rhino if the rhino is injured and alone or a young calf that is alone. If the calf's mother is in the area, she will protect her youngster with her life and this usually makes the lions think twice. We have often seen a rhino mother walking her calf towards the pride of lion. Of course this seems crazy but if the lions try anything she will attack them. It is almost like she is teaching her youngster what lions are capable of, but when it gets too rough, she will intervene. Rhino skin is also very tough, and it is just not worth a lion's time and energy to go for a rhino as a meal. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and leave your ideas for new videos down in the comments. Thanks for watching.